Has your Instagram game just been lacking and you haven't been getting as many likes and follows as you want? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five tips on how to get your gram game back on top. Hi, my name is Dax Brule. I'm a photographer and videographer from Canada. So let's get right into it. Tip number one, lighting. So your photos are always gonna be better if you have better lighting. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say you go to your bathroom. You have that overhead incandescent light. It's gonna cast an orange shadow onto your face and it's just not gonna reflect your skin tones like other lights would. You could have simply just gone outside and took a selfie outside and have much, much better lighting. Lighting will not only control what the level of quality that your photo is at because your ISO will be lower. If you don't know what ISO is, I'll put a link in the description for a quick explanation. So it'll make the photo more grainy if you take it in a lower light situation. But if it's a higher light situation, less ISO means sharper quality. Always think lighting before anything else. Number two is composition. Composition is an easy one. People always just take photos, pick up their phone, snap, photo is done. Think a bit about your composition. What is gonna be in the photo? A simple rule I always ask myself is, what do I like in this photo? What do I not like? And then get rid of what you don't like. Let's say you're taking a photo of a jar of moisturizer. And let's say in the background, you have some ugly toothbrushes. Get rid of the toothbrushes if you don't like them. It's simply you grab them and you move them. It's that simple. If you're also in a place where you can't move things, move the whole photo. Let's say you're taking a photo against a wall and there's a garbage can there. Move to another location where the garbage can can't be seen so the photo is a lot better. This is a simple trick that you can use all the time. What do I want in the photo? What do I not want? Get rid of what you don't want. Keep what you like. Also composition, think of the rule of thirds and other simple photography rules. I can leave links in the description for simple rules of photography. Rule of thirds means that divide the photo into three, Put your subject along one of these axes. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. Put the photos along one of the axes. So for example here, I would go off to the right. It makes the photo a little more interesting than if I'm straight in the center, but I like being straight in the center, spotlight of attention. Sorry, I'm just that way. Moving on to tip number tress, vertical versus landscape. On Instagram, you have the choice for vertical and landscape. So landscape is pretty much gonna be for your wider photos that really capture the aesthetic but you really want to stick to vertical. Vertical photos, I'm sure you've heard of it, always take up more real estate on the screen. When someone is scrolling, the landscape is like this, so they'll scroll right by, but the vertical is a longer photo, so it's, so it's easier to catch the attention of the photo. So try to shoot vertical as much as you can. This will help increase engagement, likes, and follows with your posts. You know, every rule in photography, you gotta learn the rules to break them. If the photo works super well in landscape, keep it landscape, it's not gonna kill your engagement. In the end, it's all about the quality of the photo and the quality of the content. Tip number catro, coloring. Coloring is huge. Coloring in movies, you see it all the time, the beautiful colors that make an image stunning, an, a beautiful photo, the beautiful greens of a forest, things like that. Coloring is important. So when you are editing your photos, make sure you're pulling out the colors you like and dumbing down the colors you don't. You can use simple editing apps to edit your photos. Check this video out to see the top five mobile editing apps for editing your Instagram photos. Coloring is huge. You're not over coloring the image, but you're making the colors and tones that you like a little better. So make sure you're playing with your image a lot until you find a color you like and don't just post it straight out of camera because that's usually pretty boring. I'll leave some links in the description to some simple color grading tutorials. Tip number five and the final tip is perspective. This is super important with any photography. Let's say you take a photo of your street. If you take it from drone shot height, it's gonna look a lot different, give you a different feel, different vibe. I'm gonna talk about this one, especially taking photos of people. What you really wanna do is take it, not at a higher angle, cause then they're gonna look small. If you take it at a super low angle, they're gonna look giant. So if you wanna get that perfect perspective, make sure that you are taking it just above their eye level kind of thing. So that makes it like they're looking up at someone. For example, this camera is slightly tilted up at me. So I look strong, I look good. My facial features are shown off. It's just a simple perspective thing. So make sure that you are thinking of your perspective or you could say angles when you're taking the photo. Don't just snap it from up high. Like, you know, you see, you know, you see those dads that are out there like, like, no, don't do that. Just go find a good perspective. If you're taking photos of people just a bit under eye level, so a bit lower, it'll really pronounce their facial features. They'll really show off that they are a person and they look beautiful. That was kind of nice, what I just said. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Question of the day for you guys, comment below. How many followers do you have and how many followers are you aiming for? What is your next milestone? Let me know in the comments below. Gently tap the like button if you learned something. Subscribe weekly for educational photography and videography videos. They're gonna be coming at you like a minigun.
ring the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I drop a new video. And creator, keep creating. Peace, guys.